Our objective is simple. Complete Enchanted Arms main story and side quests without any deaths. Only five rules that we have for this challenge. That the run is over if any of the main characters die during a battle and it is not revived within three turns and goes to dust. Wild encounters cannot be fled or ran from. I must battle all lost golems that we encounter. Casino use is allowed throughout the run. Can we do this? Let's find out. Okay, that's a long staircase. No wonder, no wonder nobody's um, unfit in this game. The amount of stairs they have to walk up. If you were an even slightly unfit, you would, you'd never get anywhere. <laughs> Lord, it's the same one again. Oh, this is slightly harder because they're all spread out now. And there's literally no way I'm going to kill all these. So, I might as well take out the two strongest. Which is, of course, the Blood Fencer and Lord Onyx. That's fine, she wastes a turn by powering up. Sweet, and goodbye. Nice and over. Let's carry on. Hopefully, not to get stuck this time. There's a door. It's a nice door. Inferno Temple. So I've got a healing shop before we go in. We're going to heal up. Um, and then we'll see what we're going to do. The this isn't working. It isn't working. Man, must insert the magic core. The broken magic core, you mean? She's just impatient, basically. It does work, but she just couldn't be bothered to wait ten seconds. We can get going again. What was the problem? Probably. Probably what? No, after you, my lady. Probably. Rygar knows maybe why, but doesn't seem to tell us. All of grief was that. Is the it's inside the Green. It's inside the, the dam again. <laughs> the war chamber, the Queen of Ice, at the heart of the temple. So we'll just keep going until we get there, right? It's not as simple as just going straight forward, I promise you that. <laughs> the Emperor of Fire. Follow command. Everything is me. A slightly excitable magic card. Listen to me, Curry. We of royal blood must never enter the royal chamber. Why are royals not allowed inside? No, so long as they do not. The reason that they can't go in is because Kareen can become a magic card because she has ancient royal blood. Because can become. Yeah, same as Toya, surprisingly. So it's interesting to think about who Toya is descended from, um, who his mum and dad were that abandoned him. Hmm, it's very interesting. Okay. So because she's not pure like blood, it could light back her up, basically. Even if it should cost me my life, it should cost I will me my life. Never allow the devil gun to be revived. She swears that she must not revive it, but then, you know, we're, that's what the whole mission's about. To basically revive the Emperor to fight the Queen. Uh, and then we go from there. My lady, let's go. That door also looks like it's literally just open stairs. It isn't either. <laughs> of course, there's a lot of earth monsters in here, weirdly. It's uh, Lord of Earth Temple. But there's a load of there's a load of earth monsters. So it's the Lord of Emperor of Fire, not Lord of Earth. Emperor of Fire. But there is a lot of earth monsters in here. 
So it looks like that door's about 10 foot away, and it's like 10 mile away. So let's get going. Into the boil thing. I'm pretty sure there's a thing in here. This is an ether challenge, this is. We have to find three pieces of ether hidden throughout. Um, and then that's basically it. So we shall start down the far end, if there's anything there. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I can remember where all three of them are. So we'll just carry it. We'll just go for it straight away. There's a lot of these skeletons in here as well. And to be fair, they do have some pretty decent attacks. As long as you're not in the front... Well, I mean, to be fair, if you're not in the front row, you're going to get hit by it. Some bad stuff. So, what we want to do ideally is to get rid of as many of these as possible. 297, so that's going to leave on 150. <coughs> Which we can do with that. Well, we need to be fair, we could put our sumer there and do a summon phoenix. Which will kill those to weaken those others down. It's not going to be enough, however, to kill them. I don't think it is. We'll see. I don't think we've got quite enough power to kill the remaining two after this. It's getting relatively, shall I say, dangerous now. Because of course they are, uh, yeah, neither of them was good enough. Gravity Blade on uh, Earth Impulse. 356 on Yuki. That's why we've got to be so careful. Mega Blow uh, and the High Shot. That's what we want to do is go down and then not be able to revive someone. Because it's just, you get the revive and just going to get one shot down. Then that's it. High arrow shot, that is useful. Let's see if she can learn that now. Yuki, skill, learn skill, skill. Uh, both of those. There's no support now. Equip skill, skill. High right, arrow shot and pot shot, which is a ranged attack. I think our range is actually pretty shocking, to be honest, Yuki. Let's see, just uh, let's just do some parameters while I'm thinking about that. To be honest, we'll do a direct and we'll do some uh, EP. You here, direct, yeah, and he's got range up, so we'll get some range. And agility, rigor, we'll get a bit of range and a bit of direct. And then for modeling deep, we should do some direct. And a bit of agility, and that'll do. So let's crack on. So I would say this is the first one, the first bit of ether or ether. Look, like that's the skeleton, the spooky, scary skeleton. <laughs> okay, this was it three or four? Three. Seven hundred and eighty. Right, that's fun. Okay. One hundred and ninety-two. So we need to keep Yuki behind someone at all costs. That's the basis of it. What if we do? A barrier axle. <laughs> Mega flare rush. And a high arrow shot. So that will override um, Rygar's shield, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, we're going to take three attacks here, but it's fine. It's fine, we can survive it. So, we're going to do a high blade, which gets rid of that one. 524, that is ridiculous. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's probably best to get over there, and then we can do that. And then we can do a high arrow shot, and then just to make sure, we'll do a, a blade on that one. 500, that is ridiculous. 524. <laughs> and Yuki finishes them off. Perfect. Oh, we got a skeleton core in that one. Sweet. So we get the Ether, or Ether. And there's another one down that other end, but not before another random battle. Okay. What's that? El Dorado, okay. 299. Uh, 
899. I'm pretty sure that's dead if I use that. That's such a shite move, that slash is. Uh, now we have a slight problem. I'll do a Hydro Mod just for sure, and then we'll do a wave. Because <coughs> I can't risk that skeleton still being alive. Good job I did that, because it uh, it's still alive. But it doesn't matter, because <laughs> we got a first turn. Yeah. Nothing in that one. We can't get into that one, and of course, a skelly bob here. <coughs> I love it. So only two sk spooky scary skeletons on this one, so that's pretty easy. So, oh no, 780. I forgot about that. Okay, serious. Not as easy as I thought. But we need to protect you, okay? So, what we need to do is put the aqua impulse there. Uh, I could do a flare wash on that one. It does leave us ex slightly exposed. Well, it should be fine. Flare wash. <coughs> Slash ammo. Hydro roll. Perfect. That's not bad of a start. Both have been one hit range next turn. If we have to play it, we'll do absolutely nothing. Uh, put rigor there. Uh, 215, uh, and then a high aero shot, and then just to make sure, a stampede, and that will do us. And boom. Sorted. Let's get the second ether. And then we'll just get another random bow. <laughs> Okay, that's light in it, El Dorado. Yeah, it is. Oh, that makes it slightly challenging. 299. Yeah, but you can have been in the trunk, to be honest, but. Well, that's dead. What I can do. Do I go for that one? Yes. Pretty sure that's dead. Right? Yeah, El Dorado's dead. Yeah, perfect. That's fine. That one's on the opposite. Enough all as we know. Um, and then we'll finish her off with a bit of Morning Glaive. Goodbye. Right. Atsuma! Level up. Level up! Also, I think we'll swap round. We'll put some new uh, golems into our party. You know. Get all that good. Get the good ones in. Uh, start leveling them up a bit. And then swap them out as we go on. And we get uh, new and improved ones. It looks so complicated, this, but it really isn't. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Uh, let's check. There's a shop there. I don't think we need anything. So we'll just carry on. Ooh, uh. <laughs> so, what we want to do. Let's see, there's the last effort. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> a battle over water. El Dorado again. Uh, oh, I've got to, I've got to get somebody in for the Uke. Right, um, no, we don't. What are we doing? Aqua Impulse. No, no, no. Hi, Aero Shot. See what it gets. Where this gets us? Yeah, that was cool. Make sure it's going to go upstairs. Oh, nearly dead. Not one hit from death. 18! Why is... What happened? I don't know what happened then. I pressed the quick and it literally skipped it. No I didn't and I'm pretty sure I clicked on the thing. On a thing. Alright, if I clicked... Well, I'll say this now. Because technically, if I just click skip on that, I've just broke the rules and I failed to run. Um, but if I did, that was a slip on me and I'll take that as a warning shot. <laughs> but if that happens again, if I do that again, then it's game. But I say that was completely unintentional. So we shall. We'll have that one tail on as a warning shot. Because that was completely, totally accidental. 
I would have won that fight. That would have been dead though. So, well, let's save that for now. Let me off that one. <laughs> Teach me any competence. Sorted. I'd set out that Reaper thing or whatever. That's just that thing does mega damage. There you go. We can't run unless we make a stupid mistake like we just did. <laughs> then uh, we, we do run accidentally. Right, let's go. This is actually a pretty good golem, this vampire. So we'll fight. Definitely fight this one. So it is quite a difficult battle. Uh, so we can only hit two, no matter what we do with these. Hmm. Higher cloud. We should do a. I'm pretty sure that is. That's three of them dead. No, two, because I did it on the other side. Well, that's the, uh, the lowest move. Open course, that's fine. That's slash. Fine, fine, and fine. So that was Zerd, so I can get rid of. So we can do. We'll do the part here. Uh, can't hit the vampire, unfortunately. Can't move anybody else, so. Get rid of them. Get rid of some shots on him, and then get rid of the skelly up, and there we go. HP drain roar. Oh, it has moved forward, so that makes it slightly easier. A gravity bite. 312 we could have done on Rygar. Now, Mel gave us stuck, which is kind of going to affect his upside. It is. Uh, I think we'll heal Rygar just to be safe. Because he's normal, I don't if we want to. We'll charge up our Sumer and uh, we'll barrier up uh, Marlin Glaive since he literally can't move <laughs> and we're stuck. Well, he's put himself in a bad position there because Marlin Glaive can hit him now. 261. Problem is, there are not many other people. Not, you know, basically, nobody else can. Cloud. Uh, we'll do 190. Or what's that? Seems to do 214. It's got to be 214. I mean, we can. Yeah, we can do it. Of course, using uh, Hydra Mall. Oh, full team combo. That's dead. See ya. 1,160. 1, 